Hello, it's Miss James again. I wanted to read you a story that I have on my computer. I don't have the actual book, so that's why you don't see me. You'll only see the pictures from the story. So this story is called Why We Stay Home. Susie learns about the coronavirus. It is a book that is written by Samantha Harris and Devin Scott, and it's illustrated by Harriet Rodas. They are medical students from Southern California. Okay, why we stay home. Susie learns about the coronavirus. Millie, are you awake? Susie asked. Susie was having a hard time sleeping, so she figured she would see if her older sister was awake. I am now, Millie responded. What do you want, Susie? I was just thinking how happy I am that me, you, mommy, and daddy have been staying home together. It's fun, Susie replied. Yes, it is nice having mommy and daddy home with us, Susie, Millie responded. But we have to make sure that we remember the reason that we are all home right now. Yes, I know, Millie, because of the coronavirus. But what is the coronavirus anyway? asked Susie. Coronavirus is a virus. A virus is a really small germ that you cannot see. There are other kinds of germs too like bacteria and fungi. Germs are everywhere. Our bodies, chairs we sit on, even the door handle to your favorite ice cream parlor. Some germs are good, some are bad, and some don't really do anything. The coronavirus is a bad germ and it can make some people really sick. Some of the people at greatest risk of getting sick are Grandpa and Grandma and Mr. Jones, our neighbor whose body has a hard time fighting off germs. So everyone has been staying home to make sure we don't spread coronavirus to them. This is what quarantine means. Some signs that someone is sick with coronavirus are cough, fever, and sore throat. We can do our part by preventing the spread of coronavirus by washing our hands, wearing a mask when we go to the grocery store, and standing six feet apart while we wait in line. This is called social distancing. Oh, I see, says Susie. But Millie, since we've been at home, I've really missed my friend Alex from school. I understand, Susie. It can be very hard not to see friends and family that don't live with us, but there are still ways that we can say hello to them. We can video chat them on mommy's computer, we can call them on the phone, and we can send them messages to check on them. Some people do not have mommies and daddies or even sisters with them, and they are alone in quarantine. So it is important that we check on them. I understand, Millie. But Millie, Susie replies, is this how it's going to be from now on? No, Susie, it will get better. We just have to keep sticking together. So that was the end of the short story. Um, I thought that it was a good story to briefly explain what the coronavirus is and to give a little comfort to some people that are feeling uncertainty during these times. So I thought it was a good way to show why we're staying home, what the virus is, what it looks like, why we have to social distance, and um, even that some people don't have people home with them, and that's why we have to check in with them. So be sure to check in with your friends and family, um, even if it has to be from a distance. We are lucky that we live in days that technology is so advanced that it allows us to do so. So phone calls, FaceTime, Zoom calls, Teams meetings, all of the above are great for checking in with friends, families, coworkers, students. Um, so hopefully we uh, maintain that those check-ins because some people do need them. So until next time, thank you for listening and I will see you later. Bye.